All right, subscribers, welcome back to another episode of Science with Serbac. Today, what we're going to do here is a little extra practice on adding and subtracting and also multiplying and dividing uh, significant digits. All right, so we start out here with addition and subtraction on this page, and then we'll move forward to our multiplying and dividing. So a key thing here that I'm gonna write down is this. You need to line up the numbers on the decimal point or on their decimal point. Okay, so to show you this, how we add and subtract, or to remind you how we add or subtract, and also factor in significant figures or digits, I'm gonna do problems 1B, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, instead of writing it like this, how the problem is listed and printed out, I am going to write it up and down or vertical so that our numbers can line up on their decimal point. So we have 0.0. 056 kilograms and we have 0 0.00 or excuse me had too many zeros uh, 0 0.0783 kilograms and our final number that we need to add to this is 0 0.032 three kilograms okay so now what we need to do is this we need to just plug these numbers into our calculator and add them together okay so all I'm going to do is this I am just going to take 0 0.056 plus 0 0.0783 plus 0 0.0323 now I'm gonna write this number down exactly as I see it. So 0 0.1666, okay, and that's kilograms. Now, our rounding rules said for addition and subtraction that we can only have as many digits as the number with the fewest decimals. So an easy way to see that, if we line it up and down, is this. We look at the number that has the fewest decimals, which is 0 .056. And after that number there, we draw a dotted line. And this dotted red line that I am putting on the paper is saying anything to the right is not included in our significant digit. But it does help with rounding. So our number is going to be 0.166, and then we look at this number to the right of my red line that I've drawn, and we ask ourselves, does a 6 make a number round up? Well, yes. So our answer here, our answer here is 0 0.167 kilograms. Again, you can only have as many decimals as the number with the fewest decimals, and the numbers to the right of this fewest decimal, like we did here when we lined it up, helps determine if we need to round or not. Now, for subtraction, it is the same process. Line those numbers up and down, and once you perform the subtraction, find the value or the number with the fewest decimal points, and that is how many decimal points can show up in your answer. Again, same type of procedure for addition as it is subtraction. Just remember what you are doing mathematically. All right, I want you to do the remaining problems on this page on your own. So 1A and 1C through 1H. And I'm going to turn to our multiplication and our division rules. All right, so it says here, Complete the following calculations. Round off the answers to the correct number of significant figures. All right, so for a, a, a multiplication and division, our major thing that we need to remember here 
is that we need to just plug these numbers initially into the calculator. So what I'm going to do here is this. In problem 2a, I'm going to take 34.3 times 12. Okay, so 34.3 times 12. I press enter. I'm going to write this exact number in my paper, on my sheet. And so I am going to get this. I'm going to get this in my calculator, 411.6, and we multiplied centimeters times centimeters, so we get squared centimeters. And I want to note this, that this value right here is what we got in the calculator. Now, what we need to turn to is this. The rules for multiplication and division state that when we round or when we multiply and divide, we can only have as many significant digits as the number with the fewest significant digits. So what we need to do is we need to count each of these significant digits or the, the total number of significant digits in our numbers. So I'm going to start with 34.3. We ask ourselves, is a 3 a non-zero number? Yes. That counts. Is a four non-zero? Yes. Is a three non-zero? Yes. All of these count as significant digits. So right here with 34.3, we have three significant figures or significant digits. Now for 12, we ask ourselves, is the one significant? Yes, it's non-zero. And is the two non-zero non or significant? Yes. So we have one, two. Okay, we ask ourselves, okay, which of these numbers has the fewest significant digits? Well, it's 12. And so because this is the smallest number, this means that our answer must round to two significant digits. And that's because two is the smallest number of significant figures in our given numbers. So when we round to two significant figures, this number would actually round down to 410 squared centimeters. And the reason it rounds down is remember, our last significant digit would be this middle one we turn to the right, we ask ourselves, okay, does the one make that round? No, it doesn't. And so we have to have our 410 squared centimeters. All right, same process happens with our division. The only difference is you are dividing. And the easiest way to do this is throw this in your calculator, determine the number of significant figures, round to the least number of significant figures in your given numbers. All right, I need you to do problems 2B through 2F, as well as the problems I did not do on page one uh, to complete this particular assignment. I hope you have enjoyed this episode, and if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe.